The Navy commissioned its newest ship, the USS John C. Canley. The ceremony was in Coronado, California. The Navy says the 784-foot expeditionary sea base is a flexible tool for a wide range of maritime operations. This crew is proud to serve on the newest warship in the United States Navy and to carry on the courageous legacy of Sergeant Major Canley and of those who have gone before us to repel tyranny and to preserve freedom around the world. The USS Canley is designed as a mobile maritime base, supporting amphibious assaults, special operations, mine countermeasures, and humanitarian missions. It features two large davits for launching manned and unmanned surface vessels, features space for mission modules, as well as aviation mine hunting gear capable of being towed by the MH-53 Echo helicopters. You can basically think of it as a large command control platform for sea basing Marines and Special Forces. The warship boasts the Navy's third largest flight deck, spanning a massive 55,000 square feet for aerial operations, allowing it to host four helicopter missions simultaneously. Here we're capable of supporting all types of military aircraft to include the CH-53 Sea Stallion, the MV-22 Osprey, and both variants of the Seahawk, which are the MH-60 Sierra and God's Chariot, the MH-60 Romeo. The Navy's newest ship honors retired Marine Corps Sergeant Major John Canley, who was awarded the Medal of Honor in 2018 for his bravery in the Battle of Hugh City during the Vietnam War. Sergeant Major Canley's daughter, the ship's sponsor, ushered it into service. My father understood that greatness is not achieved by the individual. It is achieved by the courageous acts of the many. The Navy says the Canley's crew will spend the next year finishing up the remaining certifications needed before deploying to the Western Pacific next summer.